welcome to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranea. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, Let's play! Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend. Or, of course, you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? OK, best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. Right, you've decided to ask the audience. Now, let's hope they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. That's great. It's the right answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Of course it is. That's the right answer. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. Congratulations. That's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Do any of the answers stand out at all? That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Well played. That's correct. You've reached the first milestone. That's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 What was the name of the Beanie Baby Duck, one of a range of soft toys launched in 1994? Flippers, Quackers, Paddles, or Bill? Jolly good, it's the right answer. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Which famous airman led the Dam Busters raid in 1943? Guy Gibson, Douglas Bader, Baron von Richthofen, Bomber Harris. Take as long as you need. Final answer. You lose a grand if it's wrong. No problems there. It's correct. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What is the surname of the character Gary, played by Nicholas Lindhurst in Goodnight Sweetheart? Robin. Sparrow. Jay. Starling. Of course it is. That's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. In which US state is the famous Churchill Downs racetrack? New York, Florida, Kentucky or Georgia? Absolutely spot on. Well done. 
Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. Which of these was a 1977 UK hit single for The Stranglers? Plums, peaches, oranges, apricots. You don't have to play this, remember. It's a big drop if you're wrong. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Which character was played by Honor Blackman in The Avengers? Vena Smith, Kathy Gale, Tara King, Carol Wilson. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. The tagline for which Monty Python film read, makes Ben-Hur look like an epic? Life of Brian, Jabberwocky, The Holy Grail, Yellowbeard. It's absolutely correct. Well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. In June 2003, which racing team won its first Le Mans 24 hours race since 1930? Bugatti, Bentley, BMW or Buick? Okay, you've decided to use your 50-50. Computer, please take away two random wrong answers, leave the correct answer, and the one remaining wrong answer. No problems there, that's the right answer. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. A character played by Paul Whitehouse in The Far Show is the 13th Duke of Wayfield, Wyborn, Westbourne, or Wendover. This really is a huge amount of money to play for. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. In Jude the Obscure, what fictitious name does Thomas Hardy give to Oxford? Christchurch, Christminster, Christ Town, Christ Bridge. Right, you've decided to phone a friend, but who do you think will know the answer to this one? Dad 
Emily, I have absolutely no idea. I'm torn between them all, but I suppose that isn't really any help, is it? I'm really, really sorry. Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?